Hi, I'm Mona Lisa Kaling and welcome to my course project in Math 6200 Data Analysis. As we can see, we have here our given data, 18 females and 12 males, a total of 30 respondents. Now, what we have to do is to solve the given problem. The first problem that we have is, is there a significant relationship between insomnia and job performance of the respondent? To look into it, we need to get the sum of sleep and the sum of job performance. We have here 550 total of sleep and 2,148 total job performance. Now, to get the mean of sleep, we have to divide the sum of sleep to the total respondents, which is 550 total of sleep divided by 30 total respondents. We've got 18.3 total mean of sleep. In our median, it will be the mean of the two middle sorted numbers, as we our given data is even. We have here both 19. So obviously our median is 19. Same as we did to the, get the total mean of sleep, we need to get the sum of job performance and divided it by the total respondents, which is 2,148 total job performance divided by 30 total respondents. And we've got 71.6 total mean in job performance. In our median is the mean of two sorted middle numbers, which we have 74 plus 75 is equal to 149 and divided it into two. And we've got a median of job performance of 74.5. Now, the numbers that occur more frequently are 19 in sleep, while 80 in job performance. These two numbers are our moods. The total correlation is negative 0.17 while in female is 0.10 in male is negative 0.26 my answer in the first problem which the question is is there a significant relationship between insomnia and job performance of the respondents Looking into my solution, it seems that there is not a very good relationship between two variables. Sometimes, for the same order of sleep quality, you get different job performance, I think. I also made a chart with the given values to be better visualize the data. Problem number two. Is there a significant difference in the level of sleep quality when they are grouped according to sex? Now, let us go to the solution. We need to find the mean sleep quality in the group of female. We have 371 total female sleep quality divided by the total of female, which is 18. And we've got 20.6 total mean sleep in the group of females. The median sleep quality in the group of females, if we sorted the numbers, we can have 21 and 22 in the middle. By adding these two numbers and divided it into two, we can have 21.5 total median sleep in the group of females. We will also calculate the mean of sleep quality in the group of males. So we can compare the result to know the significance of the sleep quality between males and females. 179 total male sleep quality divided by 12 total of males, which we have 14.9 total mean sleep in the group of males. In our median, if we sorted the numbers of sleep quality in the group of males, 
we've got both 15 in the middle. So our median in sleep quality in the group of males is 15. Now, the number that occurs more frequently in the group of female is 24, while in the group of males is 15. These two numbers are our modes of sleep quality. In the total of 18 women, about 5.5%, only one woman and two men, in the total of 12, about 16.6%, had no clinical significant insomnia. Only one man in the total of 12 men, about 8.3% had severe clinical insomnia, while nine women out of 18 or 50% of them had the same problem. In the entire population, the score of quality of sleep yielded an average of 18.3% which is moderate severity clinical insomnia with a slightly more pronounced impact on women 20.6 than in men which is 14.9 problem number three is there a significant difference in the level of job performance when they are grouped according to sex the process of doing the solution are the same as the second problem. Get the mean, the median, and the mode of job performance, both male and female. To know their job performance can be affected or is there as significant if they are grouped by sex, which I show in here. The solution, I think, no need to explain as it is exactly the process in the first and second solution. All the respondents exceeded the expectation. In what concerns the job performance men slightly more than, than women? In the entire population, the score of job performance yielded a mean of 71.6 on average while men 75.3 better than women 69.1 i have done my best to explain and interpret the statistical analysis of this data thank you